Day 38 of the war with Hamas and the IDF is expanding areas of control in northern and coastal Gaza. IDF troops advance, capturing urban areas near Beit Hanun. There is also fierce ground fighting around but not on the grounds of Shifa Hospital in Gaza City, the Hamas stronghold, as Israel is careful to ensure that civilians and patients are unharmed in the battles. The IDF says Hamas blocked fuel delivery to Shifa. The army had supplied 300 liters of fuel to the hospital in coordination with staff, but Hamas prevented the embattled medical center from accepting it. Israel maintains that Hamas has its main base of operations under Shifa and has called on Palestinian civilians in the area, as well as in the entire northern Gaza, to evacuate south. The escalation continues in the north, and the exchanges of blows took a heavy toll on Israel with 21 wounded, one seriously in Hezbollah missile and mortar attacks. In recent days, the spiraling cross-border provocations from Hezbollah have prompted dire warnings from Israel that the IDF responses had been limited until now, but that could change at any moment and would be felt in Beirut. In the latest attacks, 14 civilians from the electric company were wounded by an anti-tank guided missile. Seven soldiers were wounded by a mortar near the northern community of Minara. The IDF responded by striking the Hezbollah cell behind the attack against the civilians and hit several Hezbollah sites in southern Lebanon, including a weapons depot. Two more cells that launched mortars from Lebanon were also struck. At least 80 Hezbollah fighters have been killed by IDF strikes in the past month. In major cities in France, some 180,000 people from across the political spectrum attended rallies against spiraling anti-Semitism in the nation with the largest Jewish population in Europe. The slogan adopted nationally, For the Republic, Against Anti-Semitism, and comes after more than 1,250 anti-Jewish incidents in France since the start of the Israel-Hamas war. Some 105,000 people attended a rally in Paris. Thousands more gathered at more than 70 events across the country. Family members of some 40 French citizens killed in the initial Hamas onslaught and those missing or held hostage took part in the march. So we know the news is volatile and fast-paced, and we want to let you know that ILTV's new app is now available. So if you want to stay connected to the latest news from Israel, the Middle East, and the Jewish world, download our app now on all your devices. It's available in the App Store for both Android and iPhone.